The crypto markets are on fire, and it is only fair and fitting that we outline some of the coins that we believe will perform the best over the coming short to mid term. It looks as though Bull Run Mania 2.0 is about to get started, and you don't want to be chasing the trend at the peaks. You want to get there before things truly explode. And there are so many altcoins that have not had tremendous comebacks from their lows of this recent cycle. So keeping an eye on the projects that that have been neglected and most likely will have amazing upside in the future is the name of the game right now and the way to extract the most value from the market right now. If you guys are excited for a list of coins that I think have great potential, then go ahead and destroy that like button. And if you want more videos like this, we're gonna be covering the most important topics and biggest opportunities in this entire space. And these videos are time sensitive. So if you wanna make sure that you get this information first, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and put that bell notification on. We've been killing it with our calls over the last several weeks, including the NFT space, which we were one of the first people on mainstream crypto YouTube here to actually cover. So you're definitely going to want to stay up to date with this content. Remember, as always, each and every comment on this video is entered to win your own hardware wallet. There are scammers in the comments pretending to be me. And with that said, let's dive in. Now, a quick word of warning. I do want to make it clear that when you invest in altcoins, you are investing in a very advanced, very sophisticated, and very risky sector of cryptocurrency, and that any of these coins could suffer huge corrections and massive drawdowns to the tune of 80 and 90 plus percent. This is extremely risky stuff. And if you are new to crypto, you should not be doing altcoins and specifically not lower cap altcoins. So just understand that this is for advanced users. And if you're not an advanced user, you should not be dabbling with this stuff. And even if you are an advanced user, you should always be doing your own research, forming your own conclusions, and using many sources of data to reach your ultimate conclusion. And of course, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my own strategies. I am holding these coins and I'm a believer in them. But again, you need to form your own conclusions. Now, with that said, Let's truly dive in. The first coin on your list should be Ethereum. Ethereum has just gone through the most important protocol upgrade in its history, EIP 1559. And just like we told you about 100% gains ago, back when Ethereum was flirting with $1,700, well, this particular upgrade is a huge deal because it's actually burning Ethereum and reducing the supply of Ethereum with every single block. Now, it's important to know Ethereum also creates new ETH every single block, so there is an inflation and a deflation that are now offsetting each other. However, with the insane gas wars that are going on in NFT land, as well as all of the increased usage going on in DeFi now that the market's coming back, well, ETH is literally on fire. The transition to proof of stake will make this even more dramatic. And it's important to realize that EIP 1559 isn't even supported by MetaMask yet, much less all of the major dApps. So bear in mind that as much as this has been an amazing supply shock so far, we still have seen anything yet. And this is coupled with the news that Ethereum market shares for institutional investment products are rapidly rising. The actual percentage of institutional investment for Ethereum versus Bitcoin is starting to tilt in the favor of Ethereum. And while it's still a very long ways away, Ethereum, as we've been saying literally since the beginning of 2020, is primed for an institutional powered rally where Ethereum would start to challenge the actual market cap of Bitcoin and certainly the investor base Base would start to resemble that of Bitcoin's less retail and more institutions, and that's going to lead to a bigger and more sustainable price rally. Of course, combined with the fundamentals that Ethereum is now being burnt with every block thanks to EIP 1559 and the imminent transition to proof of stake and the difficulty bomb there, I believe ETH is one of the simplest and easiest ways to grow your wealth. It's a set it and forget it easy way to make money, and it comes with a yield because you can stake your ETH for more ETH rewards. And that's going to get super interesting interesting as Ethereum holders will get to participate in minor extractable value as it transitions to a proof of stake network. And that means potentially upwards of 50% or more APY just for holding Ethereum. It's absolutely crazy. And it's why I want the most ETH possible. Now, what would any coins list be on today? The day that Cardano has just announced that it is adding smart contracts on September 12th. That's right. I was just on my buddy Rand Nooner's show Crypto Banter this morning and Charles Hoskinson 
Washington dropped the bomb that they are actually having a fixed date for the enabling of smart contracts on Cardano. This is a monumental change to the ecosystem. Cardano on a nice pump from this. But what I'm saying here is not only is Cardano prime for some real big gains over the coming months, given its transition to smart contracts, and now people will start using ADA to access the wild universe that exists on top of Cardano, or will start to, but all of the Cardano small projects that are built on top of ADA, the early movers there are going to do crazy gains as well. And now we're getting into a little bit of some micro caps and low caps. Know that all of these other projects are much lower cap and significantly higher risk. Now it's important for me to point out this trend because I believe it'll play out, but I want to caveat with a warning that if you don't know what you're doing and you're new to altcoin investing or in general just new to crypto, you should probably stay away from low caps. Now that said, Card Starter is the launch pad, one of the main launch pads for Cardano. You can see it's pumping hard here on the announcement of smart contracts. That's because they'll be able to start launching more and more projects directly onto Cardano. And so if you want early access to certain projects, Cards is one way to do that. The other way to do that is through OCamFi, another uh, launch pad on Cardano. And pretty much the game here is that if you're holding these tokens, you can get access to other new projects before they launch. And I believe that Cardano new projects will become very, very hot indeed as this market market comes back. Uh, another project, Charlie 3, has done fantastically, to be honest, throughout this dip. As you can see, uh, it's only down about 36% from its highs here, whereas a lot of other projects got hit harder. So congrats to the Charlie 3. This is like the chain link, quote unquote, of Cardano. Um, I wouldn't read too much into that because chain link will probably come to Cardano. It's just important to realize that these memes, these uh, easy to recite uh, narratives like chain link of Cardano, first mover stuff, it's going to lead to pumping the bags. As you can see, it's up 20% today pumping very much so in tandem with this fundamentally strong Cardano news. And that's just the beginning. Uh, there's also going to be Sunday Swap and other DEXs. You do your own research and understand that Cardano related projects, those ecosystem projects will probably get very hot or at least pump pretty hard short term for the next few months as Cardano has its big hello world party here in late 2021. Now next, what would any list be without Sushi? Obviously, Sushi is one of the most important DeFi protocols in existence and they keep pushing the boundary. Most importantly, what I think is interesting about Sushi is that you can actually earn protocol fees through X Sushi, which you can get by staking and locking your Sushi. You can become a uh, beneficiary of the protocol fees generated by Sushi. Now, what's interesting is they actually have this show you marketplace, which is their NFT play here, and they're releasing an NFT marketplace with a bunch of cool features. Again, we're seeing how aggressively the revenue from OpenSea is stimulating the protocol fees. So even if they had lower fees than OpenSea, OpenSea and a smaller amount of volume, they'd still be generating more yield for their users than their normal DeFi protocol. So this is a huge, huge opportunity for sushi holders. And again, I'm just a big believer in NFTs to bring an entirely astronomically higher level of consumer product sales here in crypto. So keep your eye on sushi for the coming future. Now, the next project, Terra or Luna, is very interesting, not only because it's a stablecoin focused borrowing and lending platform, one of the leading DeFi projects. Again, I pointed this out as we were getting absolutely crushed here, that Luna was one I would have my eyes on. It hovered around this four to $5 range for quite a while, and then it absolutely exploded, uh, currently up here at about 17 bucks, and it's done fantastically, but I don't think this is the end for Luna. Now, I think that one of the things we gotta be paying attention to here is that Coinbase Pro is just added UST, which is the native stablecoin of the Terra blockchain. And it's only a matter of time, probably then, before they add Luna. So I'm anticipating a Coinbase listing here, as well as a big fan of the project. I've done a huge whole dedicated video on Luna. I suggest you check it out. It's on my channel. Just search for Luna on my videos and you'll find it. Now, next up is Immutable X. Immutable X has not yet launched their token. However, they will be airdropping their token to everyone who's ever traded their initial NFT project, Gods Unchained. Now, what is Immutable X? Immutable X is actually a ZK roll-up powered NFT minting and trading protocol that serves as a layer two on Ethereum. Now, if that was a mouthful for you, just know this. They make NFTs cheap, 
fast and easy. And it's actually protected by the entire security of the Ethereum network. So whereas Polygon does NFTs, but it's more like its own blockchain, there is actually a built-in bridge between Ethereum and Immutable X. And the user experience is really, really easy to get from your Ethereum-based wallets and your Ethereum-based account to Immutable X. So that's why I'm super excited for what they're bringing to the ecosystem. And they're also a strong partner of Super Farm. So look for some amazing collaborations in the near future between Super Farm and Immutable X that help push the entire NFT and gaming movement into the next generation. Super excited to announce more details about that. With that said, I expect the Immutable X token to perform extremely well. Full disclosure, I am an investor, a pre-sale investor in this project, and I am a big believer in what they're bringing as far as technology, use case, and what it means for developers for the NFT ecosystem. That's why Super Farm has partnered with them. That's why I invested in them and I do anticipate that they will do well. But just know that when new tokens, especially hotly anticipated projects like Immutable X come to market, there can often be wild, extravagant, extraordinary pumps at the beginning of their life cycle. So do yourself a favor, take a beat, take a pause, and don't rush into stuff before you see where the market settles. That said, I believe Immutable X is an important piece of technology and I'll be betting hard on them for the near future. Now, in this article, you might have noticed that while I did draw attention to UST, this was part of an article explaining how QuickSwap is now on Coinbase Pro. Now, as you guys might remember, I called out Quick here, what was this? Uh, on August 7th, right when the price was still in the 200s, I believe, or thereabout. And the reality is, is that Quick is such an obvious play. The reason is, is that Quick oftentimes gets more users and has comparable liquidity to protocols like Uniswap and SushiSwap. Now, to be fair, they have way less liquidity, about a billion dollars as compared to several billion dollars uh, for Uniswap. However, their users are even higher. Their transactions are even higher. Their fees on their network to use this stuff is even lower. And they are now the bona fide main DEX that has fended off attacks from SushiSwap, attacks from other DEXs that tried to move in and take the crown of the Polygon DEX. But QuickSwap really is that DEX for Polygon. It is the pancake swap of Polygon. And that makes it a very powerful player. But when we look at the market caps for Uniswap, for PancakeSwap, for SushiSwap, and then you look at the market cap for QuickSwap, it just doesn't make any sense. Even after this astronomical rise since this tweet earlier this month, uh, I believe since this tweet, it has almost tripled the price of QuickSwap. But what's interesting to see is if we pull up the QuickSwap chart here, what we see is that the market cap is about $273 million. Now, I was talking about this when the market cap uh, just a few days ago was under $100 million. And that doesn't make any sense when Uniswap has a $14 billion market cap. And then you look at things like PancakeSwap that have a multi-billion dollar market cap. And then you look at things like QuickSwap and you don't even have a hundred mil in market cap. It just doesn't make sense. And quite frankly, based on the usage and utility already of this token and project, it makes no sense for this to be lagging so far behind the other DEXs. So while I've already nailed this one, I think one of my better and most timely calls of recent memory, this thing still has room to go because QuickSwap is still, in my opinion, dramatically undervalued. And I'm using the actual market cap as it compares to users and liquidity for Uniswap, as well as PancakeSwap and SushiSwap. And once you compare users, liquidity, transactions, and market caps from those projects to QuickSwap, you see that one is unlike the others. And that is QuickSwap in that it has not performed price-wise nearly as well as the others. And I believe that that will change over the course of what looks to be a magnificent market recovery. Finally, we're seeing little gains out of Convex, but with DeFi Mania 2.0, as DeFi returns and starts to make gains, once again, I believe Convex is an easy play. The reason is, is that they have five and a half billion dollars in TVL. Their market cap to TVL ratio is 0.02. They have 50 times the amount of TVL as market cap. Their market cap is only 100 million. They have over 5 billion in TVL. It just doesn't make sense. They're so, so uh, more highly used uh, than they are actually highly valued. And I believe that that will change. So Convex, I believe, is a play, a big brain play. And if you don't want to spend money on the token, you can actually go to convexfinance.com and farm Convex by staking stable coins. It's a very easy and low risk way to essentially get free yield on Convex. It's a very, very smart play here, something that I've been doing for several weeks now, and I believe is a big brain, easy way to extract value from this market. Now, last but not least, one of my favorite projects in the space that gets no love, no love at all, is 
is Euler. Now, Euler is a DeFi protocol that allows for what's called on-chain options. So essentially, you can actually use this protocol to take out call or put options on the actual gas fees on the Ethereum network. So say you're like Binance or an exchange that has a lot of Ethereum transactions and you wanna lock in and hedge against potential extraordinary gas fees, well, you could actually buy these options through Euler. And what's cool about Euler is it doesn't use oracles. It actually stays native within the Ethereum blockchain. So it doesn't rely on external data, whereas external data can oftentimes be tampered with and lead to unjust outcomes. This is a, uh, if you will, a perfect perfect on-chain system for options. Now, to be fair, this thing gets absolutely no volume and no love. It's only got 68K in trading volume. Um, its peak all time was like, you know, 17 mil trading volume. And it peaked here at a market cap. Where was this? About 4X from here. Peaked here at a market cap of about, I don't know, 60 million or so. Um, by all means, this is a super low cap, super risky project. But the tech is very, very fascinating to me. I think they've done well with their tech. And I just believe that this is one that I'm going to sit on and hope that the world starts to wake up and realize how cool this is. I might be totally wrong here. This might be a complete waste of time and energy, but I believe there's a path back to all-time highs and even higher for a project like Euler, which I believe is a very interesting tech project. But bear in mind, there are tons of risks with that. Now, I want to end this by saying, once again, all of these projects have a ton of risk. If you guys are new to crypto, you need to understand you could lose your shirt betting on altcoins, especially if you're buying them near the top of the cycle. Now, what what it feels like is that we're about to begin a new cycle where things are going to make astronomical new highs. That's the hope. But it's important that you remain grounded in your approach to this market. And most importantly, it's critical that if you are to make gains in this market, that you take your profits off the table. If you're up 2x, pull out your initial. If you're up 5x, pull out your initial and then distribute some profits into stable coins or into Bitcoin and Ethereum. The point is, if you just sit and watch your coins rise astronomically and don't do anything about it, you'll be looking at your portfolio portfolio one day, negative 80, negative 90%, thinking what if, and you don't want to be that person, I promise. With that said, I hope you guys understand the spectrum of risks involved here. There's no bigger story than Cardano and their announcement of smart contracts today. And I believe that that entire ecosystem, coins like Jiro, coins like Cardstarter, OCam, future coins like Sunday Swap, Charlie 3, all those ones are going to have probably a pretty good short to midterm run on the back of Cardano's ecosystem growth. Anyway, if you guys got some value out of this, make sure you smash that like button. As always, if you want more videos like this, I'm going to be giving you the best gems in the entire space earlier than anybody else. And all you have to do, all you have to do is subscribe and put that bell notification on. And I'll make sure that you're the first one in the world to know what I'm thinking. That's right. The bell squad gets my information first. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Elio Trades. You can find me on Twitter at Elio Trades. The link for that is in the description and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.